my health the great honor. Go over to you. The insignia of the note is prime. Full circle. Headline. Man of war. Decimator of Hitler's armies. Wielder of the atomic sword against Tojo. Awarded world's highest honor for peace. I think a soldier is better equipped than anyone to grasp the value of peace. Having landed at Omaha, I couldn't agree more. Win Buckland, the business journal. We've met before. I was in the White House press corps when you were Secretary of State. I apologize, but I don't remember you. Did you ask a lot of annoying questions? No, actually, I never asked a single one. I feel that protocol is about to change. If you don't mind. I'm just curious, General. You've displayed resounding success in both war and peace. How does one go from planning military victories to rebuilding countries? I believe that it's not the nature of a person's vocation that determines success, but the character of the person himself. Anyone who exhibits candor, selflessness, commitment, integrity, and courage will triumph in any endeavor. That's it? What were you expecting? Well, I write for a business magazine. I was kind of hoping for something a little more real world. What you just gave me is just a touch too heroic. And you don't believe in heroes. <laughs> I'd like to believe that our leaders are heroes. But like I said, I had the Washington beat. Most leaders are in it for themselves, either consolidating their own power or sticking it to the other side. You know all about that with what Senator McCarthy has said about you. What about our corporate executives colluding with these same government officials in war profiteering, engaging in questionable accounting to deceive shareholders? For what? So they can sip champagne at the club. Is that heroism? No, it isn't. But every leader in government, business, or in the community, every leader can achieve the heroic. How's that? By observing the principles that I mentioned. In fact, I believe only by embracing candor, selflessness, commitment, integrity, and courage can one achieve the goals of effective leadership. You and George Washington. In general, I mean no disrespect. Everyone of my generation looks up to you. But you ask the impossible. Your principles may have worked for you. But look at the world, it's dog-eat-dog. -dog. Duplicity instead of candor. Self-interest instead of self-sacrifice. And the people who are in it for themselves, they're just as successful as the honest fellow with integrity. It's a sad state, but this isn't the age of heroes anymore. The world is changing. The world is changing. The Great War, my first command the war to end all wars. There was never a war like this. The devastation. All those young faces asking, what has the world become? Every order I sign means sending those young faces to their deaths. The world is changing. And I was there.